To make this look less like an anamorphous blob, we need to change the material on it. Select the object and double click on this default material. Right now the material is set to flat, so there's no light information on this. It's just completely flat. So let's change it to standard. Now you can see the light shading, the bottom's darker, top's lighter, and that's because this directional light is pointing kind of to the front and down. So if we turn this off, now only the ambient light is taking an effect. So let's turn that back on and work on this material. Now let's add that normal map we generated earlier. Getting back into the material, let's rename this Matt Meteorite. And under Normal, turn it on and choose File. And we want to grab this text Meteorite Normal. Now you can see all that extra information was added in there. And meteorites are usually kind of a dark brown color. So we could do fancy texturing and add a lot of realistic detail in it. But for now, we're just going to use color. So we'll choose a dark brown color. And let's turn on specular to see how that looks. Obviously, that's way too shiny. So let's change this to color and choose maybe just a dark gray. Just to give it a little bit of shine. 